Hello there, all our dinky do. It's me, Scotty Clue, and we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live, what everyone's talking about, and the one everyone is watching. This is the new television for everyone right across the globe, and there is nothing apart from the mercy of the algorithm to stop you and I joining in tonight on the world's top talk show. The big one, the one that we are talking about, the one that we are watching right now. I'm Scotty McClue. If you're an alien life form from another planet, I will spell it for you. Capital S, small c, o, double t, i, e. That's the Scotty, the McClue, capital M, small c, capital C, l, u, e. That is the McClue. Now, we only have one hour, right? one hour of absently communication and entertainment for not just one nation but for all nations so you need to get yourselves on and you need to join in as quickly as possible if you've got a comment to make then let's be hearing it aha says paul francis carroll aha to you paul francis carroll good evening i'm here 9 p.m sharp nothing gets past me 9 to 10 every sunday evening harry Norris. i th thank you and uh, Paul Francis Carroll there is going to be another world war, you handsome devil. Come on the hoops, evening, Scotty. Thine be the glory. Risen, conquering sun. Endless victory. Thou, O oh, death, has won. Well done, Paul Carroll. There's lots to be doing on three manuals. For in fact, I think you and I could probably get something going on four manuals plus the pedal board. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Hi, rock on, says Maria Mathy. Rab Hill, hello, you big stutter. You hello, Rab. Nice to uh, hear from you. Thank you for your kind words. And uh, lovely to have everybody with us tonight. Now, uh, we've got so much to talk about, so do not muck about. Tonight, our subjects, of course, were talking about the bombing the other night. Do you agree with it? Right? Very, very important. Do you agree with it? Or do you think there's something bigger going on? Do you think it's part of a bigger picture? Do say what you think. Very, very important to chit-chat on that one. Also, hello, says Shane Harter. Hello, Shane. Colin Roger says, hello, hello, Colin. Lovely to have you with us, of course, as well. You want to come on, give us your comments, then uh, we can certainly... You've gone, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. No, not according to my devices, Steve. So it must be something to do with yours. So there you are. We seem to be here. Do you know the dog? I'm here as well, Scotty. Can everybody see me? Can you all see Scotty McClue smiling back at you? Dinky do. Excellent stuff. Very, very good. Now, <clears throat> we need to talk about this. We also need to talk about Brexit. Let's talk about another referendum on Brexit. Now, the people that annoy me are the people that go, oh, snowflakes, right? Nothing to do with snowflakes, just highly intelligent people who are saying, do not enter into this Brexit thing, right? So there we are. So we're looking at that tonight. I'm here, Scotty, says Shane. Yes, we dinky do, says Sean Marriott. Dinky do to you, Sean. Lovely to have you with us. Now, guys, keep sharing this broadcast. As I say, we're at the mercy of the Facebook algorithm. How many people get to see this? But get it out there so we get as many as possible, right? We're about 4,000 people saw last week, and it was in two parts. So very, very good there. Donald Trump needs to in the heat. Rab Hill, so there you are. And uh, hi, Scotty, keep the positive videos coming, says Stephen Burzell. Stephen, of course, we're all very, very, very important. So there you are. Uh, Michael Yule's one, thank you. Do. Come on, let's have more hearts, more thumbs up from all of you. Excellent stuff. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap on your screens and let everyone know we have four major share points during the show so we share 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 at 9 15. we then share 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 at 9 30 and then we share 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 at 9 45 share 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 at 10 p.m just before we finish up so spread the word can't see you scotty says thomas hamilton why is that thomas must be something to do with your machine. Can everybody else see me? You're back now, Scotty. Scotty, geez. Uh, you're a wink, my man. Geez, a wink. Oh, there you are. There's a wink for you. 
Derek Kloss, excellent stuff. Have you got that, Derek? Tremendous stuff. Right, so that's that. Um, everybody else, get themselves on. Let's hear your chit-chat. You must have something to say about this bombing on a Friday night, Saturday morning of, um, of Syria. Right? And uh, do you agree with it? That's what we're talking about there. Um, or do you think that uh, Mrs. May has put herself on the back foot? I was thinking we could maybe do with a national government. Maybe she could call a snap election of a national government. And we could put uh, Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland, in charge of the country. She would sort it all out. Uh, sure did, Scotty, my man, says Derek. It's funny that May always has money for bombs, but not enough to feed the wains, says Gary Cross. And well, it is a different budget, Gary, but you're quite right. Uh, can't put thumbs up, Scotty. I've got no hands. Good evening, Scotty, says Alexandra Wood. Good evening to you, Alexandra. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do from Scotty McClue and the rest of the universe. Terrific stuff. Yes, we can. Dinky do. Brexit needs to be laid out in plain man's terms for all to understand, says Angela Clark. And uh, people voted. It was a sham. It was all full of eyes on both sides. And this is what led to the confusion. See more. Angela, I would love to see more, but I can lose the broadcast. This equipment is so sensitive. So there you are. Um, I. What's it hiding, says Gordon Riley? Well, there we are. Gillian McKenzie's watching. Thank you, Gillian. Lovely to have you with us. Mrs. May is Trump's puppet. So there you are. Now, that's an interesting one because what I was going to say to you tonight, we might be coming out of Europe. We might be, right? And might even be coming out of Europe in name only, right? But very, very important tonight. Uh, the point I was making is, would you rather be European? or American, because there's not much left of Britain. You see, there's no actual country for, uh, called Britain. Um, what's it hiding? So there we go. Uh, up the Celtic, Steve Burroughs. Apparently it was a good day for Celtic today. And uh, the bombing was very underhanded. Another diversionary tactic by our government. It takes Brexit out of the spotlight for a while. Uh, as for Brexit, it will not happen. Well, do you know... I share your opinion, Colin Roger. You're obviously an extremely intelligent guy. That is a very, very fair comment because the vote was on Duff Gen. And when people say to folk who voted to remain, they say, you lost. No, 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 no. We all lost. All right. Scotty, get in there and sort it out. Dink you do to Scotland's top presenters as Paul Crookshanks. Bet on Meadow the Deal than the Birds of Falkirk. That's right, I'd rather meddle with the deal than the Bairns of Falkirk. That was, uh, the Bairns of Falkirk was your um, your your main person, wasn't he? What was the name? It's just slipped my mind. Tell me the name of the Bairns of Falkirk. Uh, would like to see more Scotty, says Dino the Dirt. Aha! Uh -huh. <coughs> well, this might be happening, Dino. I know I'm always saying this, but there uh, have been very, very top-level meetings with radio and television companies. And somebody will pick up on Scotty McClue because the show is far too big and far too good not to be spread out there, right? Friday night on uh, one of the ITV uh, networks would be absolutely superb. Think about it, Friday night, 11 till 11.30, the Scotty McClue show. And we just do this. And people say, oh, for goodness sake, what's going on? But look at stuff that they do put out that fails and think, wow, no, 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 no. McClue has never, ever, ever, ever failed. All right. So there you are. Of course, there is a first time for everything. But there we are. Uh, but I can't see it. Brian Kessick, did you do? We did well in the Commonwealth Games, Scotty, says Gary Crossan. Yes, we did, Gary. We did excellently well in the Commonwealth Games. I was chuffed, 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 chuffed. That's how chuffed I was. Uh, Stephen Burt McDowell, good evening, Scotty, good evening. Stephen Burt McDowell, lovely to have you with us, and dinky do, I see. And uh, Peter Carrick, lovely to have you with us, Andrew Duffy. Excellent stuff. Come and join us and get your two penworth in. Never mind this bombing. Carry on. Uh, get a cargo, says Rab Hill. So there you are. It uh, should no mandate for Brexit. It should be voided, 
So there you are. Yes, I mean, I think that that um, particular referendum should be void because um, the truth was misconstrued by certain people. Scotty, the earth is really flat. Woo, Scotty, freedom from Scotland and prison for me. So there we are. And uh, Scotty, the missiles into Syria. It was just a show by Trump to look tough. 70% of them were intercepted, and the ones that did hit the target uh, hit nothing significant. All that money wasted for hee-haw. And it says, see more, but I don't want to risk seeing more, because the equipment's so sensitive. I could lose the programme. Bobby McLaughlin says, hello, hello, Bobby. Lovely to have you with us. Jack Patterson, dinky-doo, Scottish share. Jack, thank you very much for that. Very much appreciated, you top man. Uh, so there you are. Vicente, Bimendi, come on then. On you all come. Dinny be feared to chit-chat to Scotty McLean. Now, uh, I'm just trying to see here. Um, what's going on? Yep, I've got, uh, if you're just going to move your side here because I'm getting, I've got several devices here. I'm surrounded by everything. Uh, so it's it's dinky-doo time here. And um, I'm just going to get the other computers up so we can actually share stuff. I think that'd be fabulous. Now, uh, what we've got to do tonight, guys, lots and lots to discuss. We've only got till 10 o'clock. So as quick as you jolly well like. Get yourself on there so we can chit-chat. We'll talk about several things tonight, but our main subjects for discussion. Obviously, we'll want to discuss what happened overnight, Friday night into Saturday morning with the bombing of Syria. Do you think that was the right thing to do? Do you think that was justified? And do you think it has helped Mrs May? Or do you think the days of uh, the gung-ho warmongering have finished? UK fired four rockets at Syria at a cost of one million each. Eddie Doby Senior. Do you know that money would have been better put into the Scotty McClue show on the national network, Eddie? Because uh, four million quid, we could certainly do a lot of things with that. I mean, I could do things with a quid. As you know, those of you who have been very generous and gone on to PayPal and GoFundMe on the Scotty McClue website at www.scotty-mcclue.com. One stop website. Over 10 million people have hit on the website. No proof, says Eddie Doby Senior. No proof of what, Eddie? You need to tell us a bit more. Uh, but it's in capital letters. We do like that. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching the World's Top Talk Show with Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, and, of course, First Lord of the Internet, Dinky Doo. wwwscotty mcclue.com Com. Too many idiots in charge of the world at the minute, Scotty. Trump, Putin, Assad, and that wannabe in Korea. Not filled with confidence, Scotty, says Stephen Wearmouth. Now, the problem is, we do have a particularly poor standard of world leadership at the moment. You know, I do feel Trump's obviously not a, a spring chicken, but uh, he's not particularly uh, experienced in the political arena. And uh, it's all very well causing a storm in a stucci. Scotty, I can't see you again. What's going on? Of course you can see me. There's lots going on. You should, everybody can see me. Can everybody see me? Just see if you can see Scotty McClue right now. Can you hear me? No proof who launched the chemical attack, says Eddie Doby Senior. Yes, the one that they supposedly went in pursuit of. There isn't any proof, Eddie Doby Senior. You are, of course, quite correct. And there's talk of people faking these things up. You know, film companies and that, getting the Waynes to greet and uh, spraying them with water and all that, filming that, and then blaming Russia for a chemical attack. Hello, Scotty, how are you tonight, says Brian. Excellent, Brian. All the better for seeing yourself. Um, hello, says Anne-Marie Crone. Hello, Scotty, in a week. Hello, Anne-Marie. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. I could see you, says John Finlayson. That means we're broadcasting, guys. We're out there. Colin Roger, good evening, Scotty. I can see you, says Paul Crookshanks. Excellent stuff. Jason Cunningham, why would the UK want to bomb them? No wonder France keeps getting attacked. USA says jump. UK says how high. Now, very important point here, guys. 
Black screen for me, Scotty. Sounds okay, says Mark Gippert. There we are. Sorry about that, Mark. Don't know what's going on there. Stephen Dunn says, yes, I can see you. Scotty, where have all the politicians gone? There's a new breed of elitist posh people, says Ian Walker. Well, you know, you're quite right in a way, Ian. There uh, are what you call politicians just in it purely for themselves. Like, I've been invited to become a politician, and I said, I would only do it if I could make a difference from that point of view. Um, Big Vladimir Putin's the only major modern-day global leader with any integrity at the moment. He is right by not overreacting to all the provocation. Smart man. Well, Mr. Putin is a very, very smart man. And uh, I would be on the phone to him because, you see, I can go back to uh, the missile crisis, the Bay of Pigs, all that sort of stuff. And uh, Mr. Khrushchev, who was the Russian leader at the time, in those days, the Russian leaders were quite elderly. They were part of the original Communist Party. And uh, they stayed in power um, right up to the end, as far as I remember. See you fine, Scott, is Steve Burris. And um, Mr. Khrushchev, Nikita, Nikita Khrushchev, said to John F. Kennedy, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, Young man, be very careful about mobilizing your military, because when you mobilize your military, you can't stop it. So there you are, and he gave him a very fine piece of advice. Um, I can see Scotty, can you see me? Yes, I can see you, loud and clear, Rab. Uh, hello, Dinky Doo, says Ron Stewart. Hello, Ron, Dinky Doo to you. Everybody, if you've just joined us, welcome to the program. One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. You're watching Scotty McClue live, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Now, it looks like it's coming up for a share point. So if we can share, 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 that would be absolutely fantastic. That would be phenomenal, as they say. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Just getting the computer sorted out so I can share as well. Um, those wains weren't greeting. It was stooged, says Duna the Dug. And uh, Rod Stewart sending up the flags. It's a million pound for a bomb. Where does this money go to? Well, I imagine it goes to the arms companies who manufacture the bomb. So there you go. Uh, don't mention football, shh, says Ian Walker. Well, I don't know. The hoops seem to be quite pleased today. And uh, how's your week, Scotty? It's Thomas Hamilton. My week was excellent, Thomas. Very, very busy, of course. But nevertheless, excellent stuff. Anne-Marie has shared. I thank you, Anne-Marie. That's fantastic. In fact, what I'll do is I'll share myself. I'll just join in the sharing myself. I have to uh, reload that page. The pound's going to be tumbling. That's how the Russians will get their own back. Cyber attacks cause more damage. Well, I don't know about that, Ian. I mean, you say that, but you don't actually have any evidence for that or to that effect. So I think that's very important. We need a bit of evidence. Uh, excellent stuff, and uh, lots of hearts, please. Lots of tap, 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 thumbs up. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we are live. Charles McLaughlin, think you do on you come, son. Dinner buffet. Scotty McClue is here just for you. Excellent stuff. Now, I'm also uh, what I'm doing here. Uh, we're doing a bit of sharing. As you see, I'll move you over to that side now, so that I can see what's going on here. And, uh, yes, just, just bear with me, just bear with me. That's what it's all about. There we go. Excellent stuff. Right, I'm going to share it, guys. Share now. So that's gone out, and it just lets them know that we're live. It goes out, share now in public. So you'll see that. And then I'm going to share it to the Scotty McClue page. Hi, Scotty. No, I don't trust any of them. Uh, uh, they're doing it for the right reasons. So there we are. Um, and on a more serious note, and there's a couple of wee shamrocks there, so I suspect there'll be a wee message there, a wee massage about the hoops doing very well. I'm just going to share to the page as well. Very, very important. We share at uh, 15, and it looks to me like we're at 20 past already. Time flies when you're enjoying yourselves, folks. Never, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue, uh, or you miss a moment of life. And, of course, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live, saying Dinky Doo, just for you. Nine o'clock every Sunday night. Very, very important. Right, here we are. I'm sharing it to the Scotty McClue page. 
So we've got that going up now. That's been shared to Scotty McClure. And I'll just share it one more. I'll share it to another page called Dinky Do. You see, I'm not just a pretty face, you know. I'll tell you that. I'm also an athlete. Uh, where's the nearest bomb shelter? Probably in Russia, says Dylan the Doug Scotty. Did you know there's a place called Rusky by Fintry? I drove through it today. I didn't know that, Ian, I have to be honest. You might be making it up, and uh, but I didn't know it. So there you are. Excellent stuff. I Talking about clangers and dragon soup from Moon for change. The Tories cause. There are many a madman. So there we are for jail. Oh, so me and a madman for jail. Do you have any pets, Scotties, as Thomas Hamilton? Of course, we have the Labrador. Uh, you'll see him up there. Well done, the well, says Ian Walker. Oh, you're a well man. Does Ian Walker, do you get it? Nearest bomb shelter is Falkirk, but it's a secret. It would be. Shout out to Mark Ferguson, Scotty, please. Absolute top man, says Jack Patterson. Dinky do. Good evening, Scotty, says Neil O'Gormley. How's it going, says Craig Lennox. So there you are. He's talking to someone else. I think, I think he's talking to me. So there we are. Uh, so that's that one. And um, as soon as you can get yourselves on, folks, and we're going to be sharing again in about nine minutes' time. So I'm just going to share somebody else as well. It's fantastic. I've got a couple of groups here, and this will let them know that we're actually live now. Okay, so there we are, sharing the group. Uh, and I'll just be with you two seconds. Good evening, Scotty. Excellent stuff. Um, I'm not making it up. Says Ian Walker. I should hope not, Ian Walker. Very, very important that you're not. So there we are, sharing a group. I'll share to the Scotty McClue fan group now. I hope all of you are members of that. Very, very important. The Scotty McClue fan group. It says Scotty McClue fan group for fans, discussion and debate. It's a Facebook group. Get yourselves on there and uh, make yourselves part of the program. Um, so there we are, Craig. Oh, excellent stuff. Of course you are, Craig. I know you well indeed. Lovely to have you with us. So there you are. Very, very important. And uh, I'm just sharing this, guys. So there you are. That's going out. And there's one more. You'll love all this. Now, you can all do this as well. Share to your groups. Don't just share to your page and your friends. Share to your groups as well so that we can get everybody on Facebook realizing, oh my goodness, because with some lovely comments last week, people said, this is better than anything on the telly. And I like that. That actually gladified me. I was very chuffed rather than dischuffed. I thought that was quite important. So I'm uh, just going to share once more, and then I shall be back to you with my undivided full attention. Excellent stuff. Good evening, sir, from Nottingham. It says Patrick Para Collins. Excellent stuff. McClure, very, very big in the Midlands. Big in Nottingham as well. Uh, of course, Nottingham uh, Forest Football Club. Excellent stuff. Robin Hood. All that. I'm going to go to live in Kirkcaldy. No one will bomb there. Uh, because it might improve it, says Ian Walker. You're a wee shocker, Ian. What a thing to say. The Lang Tune is Kirkcaldy. Am I not right? Am I not correct? So there we are. Just got up to the last share, guys. And then we're going up to the... There we are. That's us. Uh, excellent stuff. Takes a wee while. And that's it there. So I'll just click on that. Uh, yep. Excellent. And that's it in there. Wonderful. Good, 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 good. Sandy Howden. Alfie, Alfie, are you there? We've been cheated out of a game at Time Castle. You're the daddy, dinky do says Ron Stewart, the daddy of them all. Ron Stewart, absolutely. Um, I think that uh, George Galloway blocked me on his Twitter account because he's the mother of all talk shows. I said, you may be the mother of all talk shows, uh, George, because he's a big fan of George's, you know. And uh, I said, but I am the daddy of them all. Block, there we go. Uh, Scotty, do you ever hear for the wee Mexican in Castellamilco? Says Alan Laurie. No, Alan, if you know anything about the Mexican in Castellamilco, get him to come on via messenger and we will chit chat him. So there we go. How old's your dog, Scotty? Says Thomas Hamilton. He's 11 and a half, uh, Thomas. And uh, Lord Reith, my last one was 13. Scotty, where did the phrase dinky do come from? Jack, 
Uh, the phrase Dinky Doo was when the Emperor Zero came over with the Romans and he wanted to settle all the soldiers down because they were packing up and they were going back home to Italy and they were going to walk it with their leather sandals and he put his hand up and he went Dinky Doo and they all went Dinky Doo Zero and they thought Dinky Doo will last for several thousand years. You're very big in Nottingham, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. I know. I love it. So there we are. Uh, Kevin McDonald's watching Dinky Doo. On you come, Kevin. Lovely to have you with us. Always pleased to have you with us. And uh, I'll give you my undivided attention for now. I'll put you back over to that side. Is that okay? Can you all see me there? Excellent stuff. So there we go. A little bit of that. I hope you're not getting too much of the McClue Pass. Scotty, what are we talking about tonight? I'm just in. Sorry I'm late. Sandy, not at all. You never need to apologise. We value your company. Now, we're talking about the bombing, Sandy. Do you think it was right, or do you think it's just a, a bit of sabre rattling? Is it also dangerous in world terms? The Langtoon spot on, says Ian Walker. This is us talking about Kirkcaldy. Kirkcaldy. Ian obviously kens a boy who kens a boy. Uh, so am I watching, says Alistair King. Excellent, Alistair. Lovely to have you with us and think you do. A warm welcome to all of you guys throughout the globe. Let us know if you're watching in India, Africa, Canada, America, Australia, New Zealand, Russia, China, Japan, the Arctic, the Antarctic, the Tierra del Fuego. Let us know if you're watching there. What a place. That is, Scotty, the Tierra del Fuego. If you run a television or radio network, get in touch with Scotty McClue because we're looking for another platform for a live program, probably uh, Friday nights, May 11 till 11.30. Dink you do, dear God, Scotty, is that book Gullible's Travels, says Stephen Wearmouth. So there we go. Scotty McClue has written a book. You'll get chapter one on YouTube, Deliver Us From Abel Now. Do you see? Deliver us from evil, and you'll get chapter one of Scotty McClue's uh, thriller on there. Excellent stuff. Good evening, Scotty. Please say hello. So, Sharon McBain, Sharon McBain, of course I will say hello to you. And dinky do. Many a happy night listening to you in the 80s, winding the drunks up in the radio, says Patrick Barrett Collins. Yes, indeed, there were a few. Also a lot of sober people as well, and a lot of fun. Scotty, what's your plans for the future, says Derek Kloss. Well, as I say, I'd quite like to um, build this show. The only problem I've got with Facebook is we're at the mercy of the algorithm, how many people get to see it. Whereas if it was a, it was a straight out there, we'd be going out to almost 2 billion people live at the time. Uh, what you call high value content. So I think Facebook should look favourably on the Scotty McClue live show. Uh, funny, funny guys, says Sharon McBain. I thank you, Sharon McBain. What a lovely, lovely thing to say. And uh, she loved that as well. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. The radio show. Now, you'll get all that on YouTube, guys. Can I ask every single one of you to spread the word? Go on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. If you scroll down on the Facebook page, you'll see the link for it there. Uh, we have to go through Parliament, Scotty. The sad thing is, it was the West armed and trained the FSA in Jordan before all this kicked off, just like in Persia. Well, Persia is uh, Iran, was that right? Uh, that was the old name for Iran. Uh, but you know that already, Scotty. I do, Sandy. Yes, I do know that. But it's always good to have it uh, from the horse's mouth. You could get the tapes to listen to. It was great, says Patrick Paracollins. Well, it's all on YouTube, Patrick Paracollins. So get yourself on there, the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Put that into Google and uh, up it will come. Start back up Scott FM, says Bob Crickshanks. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio hour. All right, <clears throat> and the only reason they took me off was because it was damaging the other companies because we had such a huge audience. So there must have been some arrangement at the top, but um, that was the only reason. It was nothing I'd said, nothing I'd done. Uh, we had done 36,000 hours of live unscripted broadcasting and one tiny complaint upheld, and even that was... Whew, 
don't think it should have been. You know what I mean? And neither did most people. Uh, what about tuning apps? Says Robert G. G. Maguire Jr. Robert G. G. Maguire Jr. Excellent stuff. There's all these wonderful platforms. The technology is there. Uh, you can go live on YouTube, Scotty, says Neil O'Gormley. Yes, I can, Neil, but I'd like to build up. I've got 1,125 followers, subscribers on YouTube, right? One of the YouTubes has got 207,000. Having a look at it, over 200,000. That's not bad. Any shand tonight, Scotty? Says Stephen Weirmouth. No, I can't play my shand, Stephen, because I would need to pay the uh, license fee for it. So there you are. So I can't actually play my uh, Jimmy Shan records, which breaks my heart. People used to pillory me when they were on uh, pop radio stations. You would get DJs going, oh, for goodness sake, Scotty, what an absolutely top pop radio station. You with your Jimmy Shan, they say, do you know Jimmy Shan was the greatest selling artist ever? So there you are. Scotty, you should visit the Durard Bothy. It's made out of James of the Glens. Old hoose. So there you are. Fantastic stuff. Scotty, I was watching a guy earlier. He said if I was dot, a dot com, then it would go global. So there you are. Yeah, but I'd like if I can get myself um, 10,000 subscribers. Now, I know it's a tall order, but we thought that when we started. And as I say, we've got 1,124. So we're only looking for, uh, what are we looking for? Another 8,000 900 uh so there you are scotty i know syria is serious but i've been cheated out of a game and my season ticket at time castle raging i am sandy i think yes syria is serious but so's being cheated out of a game at time castle so there you are that's your story and that's your song there this is my story this is my song Get the squeeze box on the go, Scotty, says Alistair King. Good evening, Mr. McClue. Jimmy Shan's my favourite too. The Blue Bell Polka, excellent. Douglas McPherson, a number one. Number one in the charts, Jimmy Shan with the Blue Bell Polka. But Jimmy Shan's stuff was the greatest selling ever. So Jimmy Shan outsold the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Elvis Presley. There you go, because you had people in India, Africa, Canada, America, Australia, New Zealand, at the height of the British Empire, who wanted Scottish country dancing, and Jimmy did that lovely strict tempo. That's a lot, but you'll get there, pal, so Sharon McBain. I will, Sharon. I've had too many doubting Thomases in my career, everyone going, ha, huh, that'll never work. And of course, boom, we just blow them away. Fantastic stuff, metaphorically speaking, of course. But we just blow them away, the doubting Thomases. We need a lot more positive thinking. So there you are. Uh, somebody told me the other day they want Scotty McClure to be the first minister of Scotland. How about that then? Mm. Uh, I've seen your horse, Ian Walker. I didn't think Clydesdales were allowed to enter. So there you are. I once bet on a horse. It was a friend of mine uh, took me. He knew all about horse racing. And um, he took me to the races. And I said, uh, I offered a fiver to the bookie. I said, could I have five pounds each way, please? He went, well, give us another five pounds then, sir. That's how much I knew. So I put a tenner on a horse, and uh, how can I put it? My friend nudged me after the race was well over. He went, there's your horse just coming in now. The vet's Land Rover actually beat it. What about that? He's complaining about a season ticket, and there's Wayne's getting gassed in Syria, says Sharon McBean. There you go. There you go, Sandy. A lot of dischuffment there from a lot of people about you. Um, why do they let women drivers on the road, says Dino the dog. I know, a little bit frightening. Uh, the, the thing that frightens me in general, and I'm generalizing here, I'm not in any way getting at women, but I'm generalizing that um, women are not generous on the road. They're doing their own wee thing. Driving, drive, can you see me driving there? Drive, 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 drive. And you flash them, you let them out. You... I'll tell you where I've noticed they're very poor. Pardon me, if you're joining the motorway, and there's a woman, she'll not let you out, and you're joining the motorway. You're actually about to run out of road. You're nearly way up a slip road, and she'll no let you out. Do you know what I mean? Now, that's just discourteous, shocking. Mr. McClure, please refrain from playing your squeeze box tonight. Have a heart. 
says Ian Walker. No, 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 Ian Walker. I don't refrain from playing my squeeze box. You'll just have to stick your fingers in your lugs. I've got an old nag as well, says Sharon McBain. Yes, well, no, your private life's your own, Sharon. Uh, where's the tonic water tonight, Scotty? Says Dave the Duck. No, we're actually at the tea tonight. Seize the day. Now, that's backwards. You'll not see it. But that says, seize the day. Do you see it the right way around? Mm. Don't forget, they're often doing their makeup at the wheel, says Alistair King. My horse came in so late, it had to tiptoe into the stable, says Stephen Wearmouth. That's right. It's a friend of mine. He says, Scotty, I, I give a lot of money to sick animals. I didn't realise they were sick when I backed them. <laughs> I mean, how amazing is that? It's share time, guys. Can we share, 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 share. There we are. I'm just going to share this one to um, a very, very good group that loves all the Scotty McClue stuff. And you send it to a group that's say, brilliant. And uh, the wonderful Jane McDonald's watching. Fantastic dinky-doo, great friends of mine. The McDonald's lovely, lovely people, Jane and Strutt. Now then, um, here we've got jokes galore tonight, says Sharon McBain. Oh yes, Sharon, we always manage a smirk. I just had to look on YouTube. That woman's sandwich shot of a toolbox, says Patrick Paracollins. Patrick Paracollins. I am not exaggerating when I say that Scotty McClue's YouTube channel is the YouTube channel. It's the equivalent of when Carter and the Earl of Carnarvon opened up King Tut's tomb in, I think it was 1924, was that 1921? No, 1922, am I right? Was that when, when uh, Carter and the Earl of Carnarvon found King Tut's tomb, 1920? Right. And that's the equivalent, the modern equivalent, is finding Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. It is mega. So there you are. Uh, I'm not a betting man. I was at the bike racing, working instead. Done it, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. Excellent. Can everybody share, 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 share. There's a big share going on here. We're just in part of it. There we are, the group. Excellent stuff. And this group, I'm going to share it into one of the big Facebook groups. Lovely stuff. And uh, we'll let them know that Scotty McClure is live. Now, we're live every week, folks, 9 o'clock sharp. So there we are. Make sure you are there as well. Excellent. Right. That's that one gone out there now. Uh, so, um, Scotty, if your Boris Johnson was the sharpest tool in the box, it'd be a chalk line. No, Boris is actually a very, very intelligent and very, very clever man. I'm personally not sure about him for foreign secretary, the way the world is at the moment. Drivers should use the slip road and not come on too early. Not a lot of people know that, Scotty. So, Sandy Howden, well, I know that, Sandy. I'm always very, very careful. i been driving for 40 years. Uh, Mr. McClure, in fact, wait a minute, ah, yes, I'm driving for 40 years. Mr. McClure, ladies behind the wheel, use over 95% of the concentration while driving, thus being able to tackle altering speed and direction to suit another driver is something difficult for them. So there we are, yes, very interesting, Douglas, you're quite right. So there you are, so it's an actual physical thing we're talking about there. Wonderful stuff. And um, there we go. You guys are coming up on the top thing. I have to just move you aside. And we'll put, can you all put a, a love sign up as well? A nice heart and like the piece. The lines at the end of the slip road means give way to traffic in the carriageway. Not shift over and let me out. So there we are. The lines at the end of the slip road means give way to the traffic. Not shift over and let me out. No, Stephen. That's not the point. The point is, if you're joining the carriageway, right, now you could obviously stop and hold up all the traffic, but it's nice if people say, there's somebody joining the carriageway and just give them a bit of leeway or a quick flash of the lights, save them stopping solid on a main motorway, right? So there you are. Scotty, how could the health secretary claim 29p in his expenses? What chance have we all got with this behaviour? So there you are. Well, no, it just keeps things right to the penny. I can remember working for a superb organisation 
and I was owed, I think it was a pound or two pounds for parking. And I said, would it be very petty of me to the accountant? I said, would it be very petty of me to ask for two pounds? And he went, absolutely not at all. Do you have the receipt? Do you have the parking ticket? I said, yes, there you go, two pounds. And I thought that was rather nice. He said, it just keeps us all right. I would have been delighted to waive it, you know, but it just keeps us all right. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Right. Come and join us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one. Excellent stuff. And uh, so much happening and so little time. There we are. Norma Acott, lovely to have you with us. Thanks very much, Thomas. That is a lovely thing. Now, um, I'm looking at my screen here and it appears to have frozen. Is this correct or are we still on the go? Can you hear me? So there was somebody pop up and let me know if they can hear us. Very, very important. So there we go. Live video interrupted. Broadcast been paused. It should resume shortly. We shall hope for the best. So there you are. And uh, you should have that in front of you guys. Excellent.